Welcome everyone. Thank you for joining Innovate Nation. My name is Julia Ladovsky. I'm the marketing manager at Innovate. And tonight we have a really exciting call. Um, we are going to be talking about superfoods to boost immunity. And we have the best person to be doing that with us tonight. And that is Dr. Anthony Kleins with you guys. He's the owner, founder, and formulator of Innovate. And um, he is going to be taking us through all of this tonight. So guys, on tonight's session, what we're going to be talking about is there really is no better time than now to be talking about this. You know, boy, howdy, more than ever is there, right? It is time to be talking about boosting your immunity. And then we're going to get into why sleeping better at night affects your immunity. We're going to talk about a worry-free existence, a full tank and ready for battle. What does that mean? And then we're going to get into why these two guys are superfoods you want to have for life and you do not want to be without ever. So we're going to get into colostrum's top three factors and how they boost your immunity and Lima Z's top three factors that boost your immunity. So Dr. K, I'm going to hand it off to you. All right. You found this quote and I, and you put it up there and I love this because whether or not you contract any disease or illness has less to do with our exposure to that disease or illness and much more to do with how effectively our immune system is functioning when we're exposed, especially with today uh, and everything that's going on around the world, right? Um, there's going to be an article that's going to be released uh, here very shortly uh, from the Healthy Living magazine that's going to be kind of a stir out there. Now, I don't want to, I don't want to go into that too much. Uh, but as everybody knows, years past, I used to give away literally a ton of colostrum a year for research, for getting it out into clinics and testing different things. This, this quote right here is literally what I have lived with all of my career because I've traveled to over 43 countries, right? And I've been in places where there's been some serious uh, immune issues and handicaps going on to the general population base. And everybody uh, would look at me and go, are, are you afraid? The answer would be, no, I'm not, because I've taken the time to build my immune system to where I'm, I'm very comfortable uh, with just about anything that kind of comes my way. Now, not everything, right? Because we can't, we can't, we can't keep our bodies like Ebola. There's nothing that's out there that is going to work against that, uh, that disease. But there are different things that we can build up our immune system. And I love the way that they've quoted this, right? It's not a matter of whether or not the exposure, it's whether or not your immune system is functioning enough to handle the exposure that you might have, right? Especially with what's going on right now today, we really don't know all of the exposure that's going on throughout the United States. Now they're getting the kits out and they're testing. And I think we're going to find that that exposure is much higher than, than what it is. Right. So kind of interesting. I, and I loved this quote when you put this up uh, today, when we read it. So keep going, let's, let's keep going with this. Now. Okay. So like we said earlier, guys, there's no, never been a better time to boost your immunity. So Dr. K, why is it so important to strengthen your immune system and why is having a strong functional immune system so important for your health? Well, there's nothing out there that's going to give you 100% immunity, right? Some bug, if you walk into a room of five people or if you walk into a room that held 500, now they're no longer there, but the coattails that those, that those little critters and bugs and other things, pathogens, rode on, they're still there, right? That's why they tell everybody now, make sure you're washing your hands appropriately, right? Because those little, those little critters, we'll call them, last a long time in some cases. And the best offense is, is the best defense at the same time. Having a strong a functional immune system. Now, I'm not talking about overactive because there are a lot of folks out there. There's this big umbrella called autoimmune where literally your own immune system is attacking yourself. It's attacking the host, right? People, if you don't know what that means, things like diabetes and arthritis, there are a bunch of diseases that literally your own body is damaging yourself, right? Because it's overactive. That's not what we're talking about. We're talking about having a normalized functional immune system that keeps things at bay that are trying to get in. And we also walk around with a whole lot of bugs already inside of us. And we wanna make sure that we keep those in that balanced state as well. 
as we go through tonight, we're going to get into some of this and it's going to be kind of fun because there are factors with both our superfoods, right? We have colostrum six, which is considered the superfood more than anything else out there because of everything that it has within it. But then we built this other thing with some superfoods all on its own and we compounded that benefit. So let's, let's keep going. Why is it important? Because there are so many different factors. The biggest one is right here, right? Everybody says, oh, did you get a good night's sleep? Most people don't realize how much sleeping can have an impact on your immune system, can have an impact on your ability to heal itself. Most of the time, we do most of our healing when we're asleep. And I talk to people all the time that they say, well, what do you mean by that? Well, if you've ever watched a child, right? If they've broken an arm or they've damaged themselves to the point where you have to take them in to the hospital or the doctor's office. Now, outside of the crying and outside of the fixing, right? You get them back in the car and they literally curl up in a little fetal position and they're out. They're out like a light. If you've ever been through surgeries, right? Outside of coming out of the anesthesia, you sleep most of the time that you're in that hospital. And the reasoning is your brain shuts down the rest of your body because we have these receptor sites. And those receptor sites are wide open when we're sleeping. And it is what they're looking for, are those natural growth factors, right? HGH, if you will, because those are the things that they circulate the entire system. Every system that you have within the body, every cell that you have within your body has an impact with these natural growth factors because those are the things that go in and regenerate. So it is imperative to get a good night's sleep. And think about it, if you're sick, you're coughing, you're sneezing, you're turning, you're sweating, you're, you're cold now, you're getting the blankets. You're always moving even though you're going, gosh, I feel like I'm, I'm sleeping, but you're not. That sleep pattern is huge because it also helps you overcome one big thing that we really, you know, I always tell people, find one thing that allows you to de-stress. Well, sleep is a big one because if you're not getting enough sleep, your stress levels rise, your immune system falls, and it leaves you fully exposed to whatever is coming your way, right? No doubt. Yeah, I know when I, even if I just over the weekend want to recharge from the work week, let's say I'm not even sick. What do I want to do? I really want to nap yeah. <laughs> and hang it out your house, right? I mean, that is how my body recharges itself, even if I'm not ill, you know, so I know sleep is a really big one. So Dr. K., Let's talk about this. So you, you and I discussed this a little bit earlier. You were telling me about a worry-free existence and this kind of theory. What exactly are you talking about when you say a worry-free existence in relation to immunity? Listen, whenever, whenever I talk, and I've been in some places where I've been with groups of doctors, and it was funny because there was one other doctor besides myself that we would watch these guys walk. We kind of look at them and go, what, what is wrong with you? And they, they're kind of limping, right? And we're like, What'd you do? Oh, I went and got my shots. You didn't get your shots? I said, no, I've never had, never had those things when I travel. I, I am a living, breathing testimonial for our products because there's a tremendous amount of research out there, right, on the benefits against bacteria and, and pathogens and other things. If you go on, on scholar.google.com or if you go on pubmed.gov, there's just a tremendous thousands and thousands of research articles that show the different components that are found with the colostrum can help you sleep better at night, so to speak, for, from that worry-free existence. Now, there are certain things that, you know, you, if you have X, if you have a bad heart that runs in the family, that might be something to worry a bit about as you get older, right? But for the most part, I want to live life without having to worry about a bug. Right. I want to know that my immune system is so strong, so functional, right? That pretty much anything that comes my way. I mean, my wife and I were talking the other day and we were going, you know, when's the last time we had the flu? And we, we both were like, it's been years and years and years and years because we just don't worry about it. We don't get sick because we're constantly making sure that we're feeding, right? Our bodies, those nutrients to keep that immune system just worry-free. That's where it begins. But it actually begins even sooner than that. Let's go to the next slide. Because when you when you look at the immune system, right? There's so many different ways that people, oh, it's your skin, it's your intestinal lining. But there's one factor, there's one gland, it's called the thymus gland. And if you can, and I'll point my, my thing down just a little. It sits about right here, right? 
And if you remember, now you haven't, because you haven't had children yet, but you may have nieces and nephews. You can almost hold them like this, right? One, their bottoms in one hand and their heads in there, and they're just this tiny little, you know, pink body. And my fist is about the size of their chest cavity. Within that chest cavity, the largest organ that they have is not their lungs and it's not their heart. It's actually the thymus gland. That's the seat of our immune system. Now, take that little baby, throw some stress in it, right? Throw some growth in it, throw some junk food, <laughs> right? Because that comes along with it. Throw some environmental factors, throw uh, the genetic factors that come in. And all of a sudden that seat of our immune system begins to shrink, mm. okay? Now, by the time you're 10 years old, if you're looking at the screen, it's definitely shrunk from what it was at a newborn level. And then take a look at it at 25 years old. It's half the size of what it once was. By the time you're, by the time you're 50, I usually tell people by the time you're 45, it's about the size of a pea. Wow. And by the time you're 50, 55, it's just this little tiny connective tissue that is no longer functional. Okay. Now, at Cornell University years ago, we started doing these different uh, studies and we got into one study that was just fascinating for me because what it showed was there are so many different factors within colostrum, but there are three very specific factors that have an impact on bringing back a functional immune system, okay? And if you can bring that back online, now think about it. If you look at that thymus gland and you're 25 years or older, Think about the functionality that your immune system is bringing to the table, or I should say this way, that your immune system is not bringing to the table. Exactly. Okay? So when the immune system is, is it affected by a, that shrinking thymus gland? Sure it is. If that's the seed of your immune system, T cells and other things are brought there and they're converted into NK cells and it does all this stuff, right? That gives us that protective barrier from the outside and from the inside, right? From those bugs that are already there. Well, as that begins to shrink, it's kind of like that, you know, a, uh, uh, a barrier around the ship that as long as the, I used to, I'm, I grew up in the Star Trek days, right? I loved Captain <laughs> I and Kirk and Dr. Spock. And, but if they had this Klingon ship, right? And it lost, it lost that barrier. Now those torpedoes and things are coming in and it's doing damage, right? Right. But we want to keep and maintain that, that nebulous, that, that, that sphere around us at all times. Well, there is a way to do that. And we want to make sure that it's all natural, right? We don't want to do it on a, on a synthetic basis because typically synthetics always come with some side effects, right? We don't want that. What we want to do is we want to maintain wellness through a fully functional immune system. Lack of sleep is going to have an impact. Stress is definitely going to have an impact. Exposure to those things or the lack of those things like sleep, it invites dis-ease. Now, I didn't say disease, disease. And when your body is not evenly matched, when it's an out of balance, you have disease. And that is when your immune system is no longer able to put that barrier up and keep us well. Exactly. So Dr. K, when that happens, when your immune system begins to not work properly, it's not functioning, what do you need to do? And well, what think, is about it, think about it this way, right? I was just down in California and I had all these people that they're wearing masks and they're trying to protect, put themselves in an environment where they're not going to be exposed. Well, I'm, I'm sorry. The world is an environmental Petri dish, right? right. Whether it's people that you're touching and meeting and, and moving back and forth with, you want to be maintaining a, the proper environment, right? sleep patterns, stress patterns, eating right, exercise, right? You want to put yourself in that environment that says, I'm building this biosphere, if you will, mm -hmm. to keep my body well. Then you've got to position yourself, okay? And then here's what I mean by positioning. Let's assume that at home, right, my wife, I love her to death, she is fanatically clean. And I'm, and I'm not, all right? I'm like, go play in the mud, kids, because you're going to get bacteria and you'll build a, an antibody for it. It's really good. Go out and play in the mud, right? She's over there Lysoling them, 
you know, as they were <laughs> as they were going in and out, right? Every time Katie dropped a toy, she was our first. It got Lysol and sprayed and dunked, and I'm like, oh my gosh, what really? Where I'm like, I'm still in the mud out there playing, right? So part of it is the environment. Okay. But part of it is also positioning yourself. If I go out and I am not eating right and I'm not sleeping right and I'm not putting nutrients to position my body to defend itself properly, boy, now, I, now I've lost this last one and that is focus, right? Some of what we do, you have to have focus about is am I putting myself in the environment? I, and I've actually done that. I put myself in environments that were somewhat dangerous at times. But the positioning that I had already put myself through helped me overcome that environmental unbalance because I was focused enough to say, if I'm going to go into places, especially third world countries that I've been in, that have these different exposures that can happen, right? I want to make sure that my focus is 100%. I want to make sure that my immune system has everything that it needs to defend myself, okay? Exactly. So Dr. K, let's move into talking about colostrum and uh, how we know superfood does a body good. And like right. you said it earlier, colostrum is the OG of superfoods. So let's dive into all the different components that make colostrum such a powerful superfood. Well, think about it this way. This is what we call the cornerstone, right? We always put it in that diamond shape because you have four corners. Now think about this. There are 700 plus different components there. When we normally talk about it, we usually talk about those the four corners. The top corner is what they call the IGF-1 superfamily, otherwise known to the world as HGH, human growth hormone, right? Because you have IGF-1, you have growth factors, all of these, but they're in a whole food form, and that makes us very, very different because there are companies out there that, well, we've diluted it, but it's a synthetic, and it's, nah, forget all that because you want a whole food form because it's kind of like holding up a home. You don't hold it up with a single pillar, you have several pillars that hold up that house. Now it's stable. Take one or two of those away, you have a house that falls over. IGF-1 as a full food is all there and complete. Down at the bottom, we have over 100 plus different immune factors. Now there's many more factors that go in there, but right now for the immune side of it, we're gonna stop with just those two, okay? And we're actually gonna focus it even more. Within the super family, within the IGF-1 super family, there's the captain of the ship, okay? It is called insulin-like growth factor one. It's one half of what is commonly referred to as HGH, right? Mm -hmm. Now, we have the other half growth hormone. We have them naturally on a whole food basis there, but we're only going to focus on this one, okay? Down at the bottom on the immune factors, we're going to focus on just two. It's what they call thymosin alpha and thymosin beta, okay, or thymulin for short. Now, when you look at these three factors, and we started research, we should have went a lot further, we're going to go further with this over time, but those three things showed a significant increase in your body's thymic growth, okay? What we did is that natural alpha and beta, or thymus and alpha, thymus and beta, and that IGF-1, those three factors became a trifecta for your immune system. Why? Because as that thymus gland, as you get older and the stress and environmental and genetics and all that, and it starts to shrink, those three things showed they can actually help it get back to a normal functional state. Now, is that important? Next slide. Is it important? Absolutely. And here's the question that I would pose to every single person out there. If your thymus has shrunk to the size of a pea or just a strand of tissue, are you receiving the same kind of protection that you once did by having a normal functional thymus? That's question number one. Question number two, what would you do to get that thymus back to a normal functional state? Colostrum brings with it, out of the 700 components, three things that on a preliminary basis we showed it will actually help to regrow that thymus to a normal functional state. That's just one superfood. That's just one, folks. That's the cornerstone of what we do. We're not a classroom company. We're a superfood company, but we are the superfood company because that one superfood, the superfood, literally takes and compounds all the others that you put with it, right? So what would you do to have a normal functional 
immune system at this point in your life, especially in this time in the world, right? So important, so important. So Dr. K, let's talk about now the combination. We've got our other product, which is Limousie. Let's talk about those three top factors in this product that affect your immune system. Well, here's the one thing that I would tell every single person out there. There are two, I, I throw OxyQuest in there as well, but if I was stranded on a, on a deserted island, there are two that I would absolutely kill and live without. I will take them for the rest of my life. One is colostrum and the other is Limousie. And colostrum because it literally is a 700 buckshot, right? 700 components that's thrown into the body. But sometimes it will go where it needs it the most, where your body needs it the most, not necessarily where you think you might need it the most, right? So when Limu Z, when I started playing and growing and, and building this, I wanted something quicker. I wanted something that says, yes, I've got this foundational product, this superfood colostrum, but I want something that can accelerate some of those benefits. Limu Z is focused for four different functionalities. One is the nervous system, that cognitive, right? Memory, uh, focus, drive. Um, the, that's the nervous system. Then you have the endocrine system. Got to keep our glands working at an effective, youthful rate. Then you have pineal or the aging system. I want to live as long as I possibly can. I have a lot of longevity genes in my family. I just want to make sure that I'm not stuck in a bed laying there for 20 years going, oh, when is it my time? I want to, I want to fly into wherever I go, warmer climate or upstairs, and I want, to, I want to go, oh, my gosh, was that a ride? But I want to do it at 100 years old or 105, right? Limu Z come, brings with it some of these superfoods that are just incredible, fucoidin, alginates, glyconutrients. All three of these are found within our Limu Z. And what's fun about it is this. When you start looking at some of the things that are in there, like fucoidin, okay? There's a tremendous amount of research. When I started playing with fucoidin and, and kind of breaking it down back in 1998, I started looking at this substance and saying, you know, it's a, it's a unique complex carbohydrate, polysaccharide. People didn't care about that. I did, though, because what I was looking for was at that time, there were five to 7,000 research articles on some very specific nasties that a portion of the population base worldwide are going to experience, right? And these are very, very immune deficient issues. Your immune system, they, they put you into also their surgery that they'll do. There's, there's uh, toxins that they put in your body to kill those things, right? Well, Fucoidin started seeing this interesting expansion into that particular area. And I thought, gosh, what if, right? What if we could take this substance and start building something that's gonna be almost immediate. That's not 100% immediate for everybody, but 85% of the people out there physically feel this particular product in about 30 minutes, right? Some a little longer, some a little less, but about 30 minutes. Well, when you start looking at Fukuoden and its ability, and then they did a time-lapse deal in Japan, and they introduced in a Petri dish uh, cells that were not well. And then they introduced Fukuoden. And literally, in 72 hours, those cells were destroyed. That's incredible. That was amazing to me, right? Then I started looking at it and saying, okay, if we're going to put that together, what are some of these other things like alginates, right? We don't really talk about some of the other factors that are already built into Limuzi, but alginates are, again, a little sciencey, non-digestible polysaccharides, right? Now, you don't think about it that way. You say, well, what is it? What do they do? What they do is they attract this negativity, toxins, uh, the radiation, just radioactive substances, bad stuff is always on a positive ion basis, right? Good stuff is always a negative. Uh, and it's interesting when you, when you think about it, because you should, you would think, right, it's reversed, but it's not. Well, alginates, what they do, along with the zeolite that we've put in there, but alginates actually will grab some of those things that zeolites don't. So you're literally getting a, a double whammy, right? In boxing, it's a one-two punch, because they grab those things, 
and it helps to push them out of your system. As a matter of fact, this gets a little descriptive, but when you do Limu Z, you may find that even your urine may smell metallic. That's your body getting rid of heavy metals. And the more of those heavy metals that you can get rid of, you can't get rid of them all. We need some of those, right? We need, we need those things that people go, oh, lead is very, very bad for you. If you get rid of it all together, you'd be dead. You need some. If you, if you get rid of arsenic, you need some. Matter of fact, they're actually doing arsenic now testing for breast and uterine cancer and seeing amazing results on that one. But this, this alginates, they go in and they say, okay, zeolite did its job, but there's still some remainder in there. Let's grab those. Let's garbage grab those. disposal. Yes, it's a great garbage disposal. Then you have glyconutrients. These are fun because they're relatively new, right? And they are the master cell-to-cell -cell communicators. They literally look like an upside down uh, pine tree on your cells. And they're tiny. They were only found in the, in the late eight or late nineties. So they're relatively in the, in the world of science, they're relatively brand new. But here's what's fascinating about those. They actually tell our cells what, when, where, why, and how to do something. And as we get older, they don't have that communication like they did when we were younger. Well, if we can bring those back into, again, a depleted body, an unwell situation, your immune system is going to snap into gear and bam, you're off to the races fighting and, and making sure that your arsenal is absolutely packed. Absolutely. I love it. So Dr. K, on this diagram right here, they would be those tiny little green yeah. on the end, right? Okay. I just wanted everybody, if you were looking at that like I was too, I had to ask him. So I wanted to point that out to you guys. Literally though, it, you, I've seen these under a micron uh, microscope and they're, they're, you, they're naked to the, to the eye, right? right? But you look at these through the, through the microscope and they are, they're an upside down pine tree. Yeah. And they literally tell, hey, you're supposed to be going over here and fighting. How come you're not? Right? And when you're, when you're sick, they're kind of brought back down. Well, we don't ever want to have that. We want, we want our arsenal loaded for bear. And that is one of the reasons why I Z every single day, every single day. I love it. You know, colostrum really is that foundation and you might not necessarily immediately feel its results, but Z, like you said, you can. So foundation mm -hmm. is that, colostrum is that strong foundation and Z it works together, but you can feel it almost immediately. I do. I take it every day at 3.30. <laughs> and you know, you were talking about sleep too. I mean, your immune system is really impacted by the amount of energy you have as well. So for me, yes. that's a really big reason why I take it. Um, so Dr. K, we know these are superfoods we need to have for life. Yep. Right? For life. Literally. These are the, these, if nothing else, if I didn't have OxyQuest, I could get by, but these two things right here are my foundation for, if I go to Asia, I don't worry about some of the things that are over there. Right. If I'm here, I don't worry about walking into a great big room full of people, right? Why? Because I have loaded my immune arsenal with the nutrients to do their job. Exactly. So you can feel protected, guys. Well, that was amazing, Dr. K. Thank you so much. I know that this has been on so many people's minds right now, especially considering what's going on in the world today. And it's so neat that we have these products that really are so easy to take guys. <laughs> like just adding this daily habit, like Dr. K said, position yourself, put yourself, of course, be aware of your environment and focus enough to know and be disciplined to take these simply every day just to protect yourself, right? I mean, why Absolutely. not? <laughs> why That's not? the question, why not? There's no reason why you can't have a fully functional immune system that it says, bring it, right? Just bring it on, because I'm ready for you. Exactly. I love it. Well, Dr. K, thank you so much for doing this today, uh, tonight. And guys, let's close with this. So the fun thing is right now we have just launched this month, our 30 day skincare challenge, which if you don't know, our restorative face serum and our hydrating face cream actually have colostrum and fucoid in, in both of them. So we are seeing amazing results, incredible transformations y'all. Um, and we want to see yours. So Enter this 30-day challenge. You could submit your before and afters on Anovate.com. 
forward slash 30 day challenge. If you actually go, it's under the drop down of Y Novate. So you'll see that 30 day challenge there. You can just upload your photos directly to the website and be entered to win a drawing for a really cool prize that we will pick our first winner in May. And we want to see your transformation. I mean, like I said, I have been seeing all of our social media some really cool pictures. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to I'm going to spike the punch here a little bit. Oh, OK. What are you going to do? On the 15th, I'm going to I want to I want to give away 10 of the mailers. OK. Now, I don't know how you're going to do it. I don't know how you and Katie are going to come up with it, <laughs> but I want to give out 10 uh, face and and face cream and uh combination mailers yeah. i'm gonna give out 10. so okay. pick somebody and throw it out there okay okay guys writing down notes on the fly you heard it first I here I, 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 <laughs> I do this to these folks all the time and they go oh my gosh what are we doing he, he keeps us living on the, this guy is he's got way more immunity i think than i do because he's been taking <laughs> the products a lot longer than i have because he has the energy of a teenager y'all i'm telling you you got to keep up with dr k and this company <laughs> <laughs> I love it, y'all. Okay, so you heard it here first on the 15th. Yeah. Yep, go ahead. Now, next slide, because we have something else coming up, right? We do. We do. We have a lifestyle. This is our very first trip. Now, I will tell everybody out there, I've been to the San Antonio Riverwalk. I've stayed, actually, I believe I was in the West End, as a matter of fact. Come join us, right? Because you have until the 21st of, of this month to get there to you can win airplane uh, flights you can have hotel rooms you can get a goodie bag out of the deal you get to hang out and have some fun with us and get to know who we are that's important to me folks and i and i really truly do mean this it's not just that we have some phenomenal products right and we have we have done some things recently since september or since uh, uh february 15th to enhance everybody's pocketbook well part of that is is hanging out with people that you like to hang out with learning from the people who are who are making an impact out there with other folks this lifestyle trip is an opportunity to do just that right we're going to be coming up with all kinds of stuff right the 15th that's only what four days away we're going to give away 10 of those uh samples I want to see how many people show up to the lifestyle trip. Now we're, we're monitoring this, right? We're monitoring this very quickly. Right now I can tell you, we already have about 17 folks. We haven't notified them yet, but we have about 17 folks who are going to be going on this trip. We have right now, we're monitoring another, I believe it's uh, nine people who are on the cusp. Yes, well, folks, 44 it. days, guys, we're on the official countdown. We have 44 days until the trip, so you can do it. If you're one of those nine or even on the back end, you're on the cusp, you can absolutely earn your way to vacay. And I'm so excited. I mean, I'm a Texas girl, so we're going to have a big Texas size adventure in San Antonio. Mm -hmm. And I certainly cannot wait for that. So you guys, Thank you so much for your time tonight. This has been so fun. Dr. All. K, thank you. You're amazing as always. You guys be sure to tune in next week because we're going to have another amazing training and you guys have a great rest of your week. God bless everybody. Thanks y'all. Bye, everybody. Bye guys.